Oh. All right, y'all, good morning. <clears throat> How are y'all doing this fine day? We are back out here, and we are gonna get off this bank, for one. Uh, we're gonna try it. I ain't expected much, especially after the last trip. Uh, we didn't really, we didn't really do hardly any good other than a couple small ones, but this is another stretch of river that uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a unique little spot. I mean, it's a, it's a really, really, really long outside bend. And, and I've done pretty well on this over the years. Uh, and so we're gonna, we're gonna get out, get out here and drag some of this stuff. Uh, I scored some white bass this morning, believe it or not, actually the right size, because uh, what I do know works a little bit better this time, it, well, when we get into this, oh, I, I guess you call it fall transition period where the fish are kind of getting tough, the bite's getting tough. Uh, just downsizing baits, it, you know, sometimes is a big help. And the other reason why I picked this spot is because we got the winds coming from the east right now. Well, it's coming from the north, northeast right now, but as it picks up, as we go around the bend, then it's gonna be blowing in our face and make it a little bit easier to fish, as, unlike the last trip where it was just blowing straight up river. And, and it, it, well, it was straight up river, then it would gust across the river, so it kept pushing the boat everywhere. So, I mean, a drift sock is good, but it can only do, do so much. So, which I, I see activity already. I, I see fish in the bottom already. So, we're just gonna get out here. I wanna get away from because you can see that all the logs and stuff that are the trees along the bottom there, it, it's all down through here. So I try to get away from all that. Hopefully not get hung up near as bad. But yeah, so water temps this morning, 83 degrees. <laughs> Where, you know, a week ago we were looking at about 88, 89 degree water temps. So that's, uh, if that tells you something. So that temperature drop like that does mess with these fish, especially the bigger fish. Um, so we're just coming out here to go fishing. Uh, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not gonna, I can't really say that I'm gonna put myself in big fish area. I mean, a big fish is gonna bite if a big fish wants to bite, but we're just out here trying to, just, just to go fishing, just to have a little fun and go fishing. Uh, don't have to really worry about much, just get baits in the water and keep from getting hung up every 10 feet, which there's a big piece of something down there that we just come across. Hopefully I can get away from that, but Yep, just gonna come out of here, hang out. Hopefully see what happens, you know? I mean, you, you can get lucky any day, so that doesn't mean we won't catch any, any good fish today, but you can always get lucky. I'm trying to get out of this, off this bank here. Yeah, that was a big either brush pile or log land down there. And if we can keep the barge traffic to a minimum, we should be all right. And we have uh, we have no flow yet, but we will. Uh, they the, the flow schedule has been they they'll kick on about seven o'clock, uh, and they're supposed to be running uh, two or more uh, generators. So if it's anything like yesterday, uh, they actually started you know come towards the end of the day. It it really kind of started kicking up a little bit. So that was pretty good. And like I said, we got this wind at our back starting out. Once we get uh, once we get later on into the day, that wind is going to shift, and then it should be should be blowing right at us, in theory. <clears throat> so let me get some rods out, and let's get to fishing. Ooh, there's a fish. Peel and drag, peel and drag. That's what I'm talking about. Now just stay pinned, because he didn't hit it very convincingly. <laughs> Just stay pinned, buddy. Ah, dog. Had one take this one down too. All right. I think he come off though. Yeah, I think he come off. Good deal. I 
get out of that drift sock. And there's the bubbles, because he come out of 50 foot of water, so that's good. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Yeah, he's a good one for today. Yeah, let me get the net on this dude. Yeah, he's a good one. He's not, he's not huge by no means, but he's a good fish, long fish. Heck yeah, buddy, I appreciate that. That's a good way to start the day there, y'all. <laughs> yeah, he was hooked better than I thought he was, which is good. Get the glove on this one. See how long this fish is. <laughs> the old female, that's what she is. You good? You good? Look at how long this fish is, man. That's a good looking fish. Don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. Thank you, I appreciate that. Good way to get the day started for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Heck yeah. And I said I had one grab that one, but I think he come off. Yeah, that ain't bad. That fish was about right close to 30. So I'll tell you a little something that I'm doing different that I don't typically do, is I'm actually pulling these boards about 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Um, and, and, and this is my reasoning. Uh, I'm doing it because I know these fish, they're just, like I, like I said, they're just chilling. They don't really want to do anything. Um, they've had plenty of time to feed, so they're not really hungry. But what I'm doing is I'm creating that, well, trying to create that reaction strike. So if, it, if there's one sitting there just hanging out, no big deal, but then something comes by them kind of fast, you know, within, uh, you know, I guess, biting range of them, then uh, I got a I got a feeling they'll they'll want to just kind of hit it, and those that would just kind of sit there and let something slow just go by, that'll give them more of an incentive to go chase them down. That's my thinking. I don't know. Uh, it works with you know like bass fishing or bluegill fishing or something like that. So why not cat fishing? So that's what I'm doing. Is I'm just kind of pulling a little bit faster to see if I can create that a reaction strike by some of these fish that I would have just pulled past and. And not get bit so we'll keep going until i start kicking up this current which i just looked at the schedule uh they're not going to start kicking the current on until about 10 o'clock so we won't see any current until about midday but that has been in line with some of the other days where i've done pretty well uh it's usually about that midday uh is when that good feeding window opens up and then if we add a little bit of current to that as it starts to ramp up may be pretty good but we'll be around the corner by then which i think will be even better water to fish so Hopefully, hopefully we'll get us a few more. There's a fish. There's a fish. Finally. I just stay pinned, buddy. That already come off. That's what I'm saying. This is... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're just short striking like you wouldn't believe. So that fish was probably just skinned hook right there on the outside of the mouth or whisker hooked or something to that effect. Dang it, dang it, dang it. He didn't feel like a bad one either. But that is a byproduct of fish that just don't want to eat. That is a byproduct for sure. See, I want to show y'all something. This is what I'm looking at. <clears throat> so 
so just like last time we'll back this up see that's a fish that's a fish we're after that's a fish we're after that's a fish we're after well some of them are small but that's a fish we're after now see some of these up here could be a little bit higher in the water column but like that's a fish we're after it's just we're coming across so many fish it's just unreal but you know I, I think once this I think we're in the right area I think once this uh, current kicks up whenever it kicks up it might we might have a good hour or so of a, of a decent bite and that's what I'm hoping for if you catch a few more fish We've had a couple opportunities but that's about it I was going to say, I got that stay pin so we can see you. Can we do that? <laughs> can we do that, buddy? He is not. Not a big one. Okay. Yeah, he is not a big one. I got one still playing with that other outside one. Try to keep him out of that line over there. Be curious to see how he's hooked. I bet he's barely hooked, if anything. Yep, itty bitty one, about like I figured. Yep, he's just another one of them. He's just barely hooked. Oh, short striking fish. Just barely hooked. Hang on, hang on, buddy. Hang on. We want to look at you. We want to look at you. We ain't, we ain't seen too many of you today. Come here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we ain't seen too many of you today. But same deal. Just as muddy as can be. Oh, that's that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting, y'all. He's got this one's got some like shells in him, so he must be up here eating mussels or something. Huh. I could, I could feel him rattling around in his belly. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Well, heck yeah, I appreciate that, the old buddy thing, you. Man, with this clear water, they are so pretty. Swimming down like that. He's not a big one, but boy, he sure acted like one. God, dog. He was just completely mad at this bait laying down there. That's what I like to see. Maybe we're starting to get a little bit of current. Kind of seems like it. You say he's not a big one, but boy, he is just upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, I mean, I appreciate it. That's the most enthusiasm I've seen all day. I mean, just upset. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I appreciate that. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he still acted out. Man. The way you hit that, I thought for sure you're going to be a lot bigger than that. I mean, you're no dink, so I can't complain, but... My Lord, you were angry. You just hated seeing that little white bass head down there, didn't you? Because I'm starting to see a little bit more activity on the graph. So I'm hoping... I'm just hoping. Yeah, this one here was angry. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'll take an angry fish over one that doesn't bite any day. <laughs> Good deal. I mean, I, he come up and just smacked. Well, you'll see it, but he just smacked it and just slacked the line, and then he just kind of went down, and once I put the pressure to him, man, it, I, had my, I had my thumb on the braid there for some dumb reason. He about burnt the crap out of me. Pull and drag like he did. You're gonna keep going. You're gonna keep going. You're gonna keep going. Now, I, I don't know how this one's hooked. Another one of them slow takedowns, so he's probably not hooked very well. He is not a monster. That I can assure you. Oh, yeah. Try to bring him up over this line. Come on, come up. Don't go down. Come up. There you go, little buddy. There you go. I appreciate you cooperating. I appreciate you cooperating there, buddy. Oh yeah, you was hooked good. You wanted that, didn't you? Easy, easy. Yeah, like I said, I started seeing quite a bit more activity on the grass, so they, we may be hitting that feeding window. Cause it don't take much current. It just takes a little bit of current, you know, from when it's still current to start moving. Then they just kind of, I don't know, they just kind of get stupid there for a while as far as feeding, you know, and that's what kind of our only saving grace. And obviously it's a timing deal. Oh yeah, little triple threat had him good. Again, no biggins, but it's, this is what we're dealing with right now. Them old biggins, they just don't want to play. Good looking fish. Still muddy though. I appreciate it, thank you. Oh, did he, did he come off? Oh, he came off. Gosh, dog it. <laughs> oh, these old short striking fish, boy. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Those old short striking fish. Well, that may have had something to do with it. Yep. That may have had something to do with it right there. Anyway, let me get this one back out. So I'll show you what happened. Now, it's hard to say, did the fish do that? Or did the... Because if you ever pay attention to when you cast stuff like this out, especially with the, you know, leaders and whatnot you get you get quite a bit going on but you see how the hook is wrapped around the line again so did the fish do that because that would have most definitely pulled the hook for sure or did because i could because the hook is, is pulled all the way down so but 
what I have seen happen before. Get this set. Is that when you cast your bait and everything out and all this, then it just kind of slaps the water. Well, sometimes your bait will bounce and it could have bounced and it, and it could have been just dragging like that the whole time. So it's hard to say what would have happened on that deal. I guess you just take a chance and hope that doesn't happen. I guess that's about all you can do. I'm going to rehook this dude. Send him back out there. But yeah, it's, that's an unfortunate deal. That was another good bite. Let's see, I'm going to show you real quick. We're getting ready to come across the front of this creek mouth. And as you can see, you know, I'm off, but I've got my outside rods. They're a little bit closer to the edge of this creek mouth. See, there's, that's fish on the bottom there that we're just not picking up. But I'm hoping that once we get about right in this area here, <clears throat> we'll catch this one. That's usually, uh, I usually do at least one fish out of there. So we'll see. We'll see if the conditions are good enough for, for us to catch one there. Not super excited about that one. That's about what I figured. Yeah, that's what I figured. The way they bite like that, boy, well, it's <laughs> it is guaranteed. Ah, oh. <laughs> it's guaranteed that fish ain't hooked up. Now that one might be. That one might be. <clears throat> yeah, that one might be. This one might hang around for the full ride. Heck yeah. Putting the brakes on there a little bit. I don't think he's a big one, but yeah, I think he's coming along for the full ride. Wait, well, that fish there, I'm pretty sure he was a small one. He just got a little overexcited. Yeah, this one's staying down. Like I said, I don't think he's a big one, but Nope, suspended rod cam went dead. All right, don't bite the suspended rod, whatever you do. Yeah, look at these old short striking fish, but like I said, I think this one's along for the ride. There's the bubbles. Yeah, he's not bad. Yeah, he's not bad. Not a monster. But he ain't bad. I'll take him on a day like today. Come here, buddy. Let's get a look at you. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, you aren't going nowhere. You are definitely committed, Bubba. I appreciate that. Heck yeah, look at him. Another nice fish. Ain't breaking no records today, but man, I tell you what, I'm glad to have fish like this today. Because the last couple trips, it's just been nothing but little ones. Yeah, he's a good one. All right, man, I appreciate that. Thank you. Get you back in this water. Ouch. So you gotta let go, bub. All right, cool. That worked. I don't mind a little one coming off and catching one like that. Peel and drag. Peel and drag. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish here, y'all. That's a good fish. 
so far anyway. The only problem with this outside board though is he is a long ways back there. Where are you going? You're gonna get in that other line, ain't you? That's how I like them to hit it. Well, you put the brakes on there. See, we're coming up on this, this uh, shell rock bank here. We're kind of on the outside edge of it. And right at the very bottom of it, you got rock and rock that meets mud. I was hoping, yeah, he done got me all tangled up, I do believe. Oh, I like it when they smack it like that, y'all. I love it. Now, if we could just have him stay pinned, which I think he is. Ah, I don't do that. He's going across my... <laughs> I don't do that. Oh, yeah, he's got me tangled up for sure. Now, I got to worry about these drift socks. Dog. Oh, that's a good one there, y'all. That's a good one. That's a that's a 60, 70 pounder right there. So like I say, even though it sucks right now, even though this that's a big one. That's a big one, y'all. Even though this weather's terrible. Conditions ain't the greatest. Doesn't mean you can't get one of these. I say that. He's not that big, but he's 50. I guarantee you he's 50. Come on up here, buddy. Let me get you in this boat. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, I tell you. I got him out of all them lines. Plus a drift sock. Ain't that something? Oh man, ain't that little bitty piece of uh, white bass. But like I said, you know, it doesn't mean we just came out here to go fishing. You can still catch fish like this on conditions like this. It, you, can, you still can. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh yeah, get here, buddy. Oh, this fish. Okay, so if you remember watching any of my last videos, where we've caught fish that were in the 60s or, or you know 50s or whatever, and they just wasn't filled out yet, this is what one looks like filled out. <laughs> oh yeah, he he was a good. Oh god. Dog, oh, buddy. It's a big female is what this is. Get this rod. Heck yeah. <laughs> Easy, easy trigger. Easy. I will get you back. Don't you worry about that. I will get you back. All right. Heck yeah. Oh, God, this is a good fish. Yeah, this is a good fish here, y'all. Oh, I'm not going to pick him up too high. Look at that, dude. <laughs> oh, let me get a picture. Let me get a picture. Oh, yeah. All right, hang on, buddy. All right, 
right, y'all, let's get a weight. Let's get a weight on this dude. Let's get a weight. Come on, big mama. Easy, 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 easy. I'm hurrying. Fifty-nine pounds, so 50, 59, 57, we'll call it 57. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, one more look, one more look. All right, keep them low, because they like to flop. Oh, God, dog, look at that fish. That fish has got a belly on it. Oh, yeah. All right, 57 pounds, y'all. Okay, let me get it. Oh, jeez. God, dog. Oh. All right, hang on. Catch your breath. Let me catch mine. Almost 60 pounds, y'all. Sitting right at the bottom of that transition where that shell rock is to everything else. Catch your breath, Bubba. Oh, golly. <laughs> like I said, even though conditions are, you know, they're, they're not conducive to, to really, you know, target these things like we all want to, doesn't mean you can't catch one. Doesn't mean you can't catch one, that's a fact. Almost 60 pound fish. Let me know when you're ready, Bubba. You good? You can swim forward. Yep, you can swim forward if you want. Let me do this, let me do this. Oh, that big beautiful thing just swimming back down to the bottom. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, y'all. That is so stinking awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how I managed to navigate him because he went over this line, over that line, under that one, and then around my drift sock. How I managed that, I don't know, <laughs> but I did. Another dinky do. Another dinky do. Is he gonna stay hooked up? Golly, I think this is the smallest one of the day, y'all. Yeah, this is the smallest one of the day here. He ain't putting up no fight. <laughs> it is the smallest one of the day. Here, get over here, guy. Golly. Get him out of that drift sock. Well, that's what that current will do, man. It'll just 
it just changes their mind. But once the current, is, you know, gets, once it's been rolling for a little bit, then they go right back to being just finicky. It's all about timing. Little bitty thing. It's all about timing. I appreciate it. Thank you anyway. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one. Man, it was a it was a tough start. Let me tell you that it was definitely a tough start. <clears throat> but I've went over it a bunch of times this video about how this this fall transition stuff is. It's just, it gets these fish kind of turned on, turned off, turned on, turned off. Uh, and then of course you add a full moon into that and you add in that you're dropping the water. It kind of turns them off. But uh, my last trip was kind of more of the same, except for the only bonus today, we caught that 57 pounder. So that was probably the highlight. So that just goes to tell you that even when conditions are tough, that even when conditions are tough like this, it, uh, you know, you can still you can still bump into one of them, uh, and that's the whole reason why I keep coming out here fishing. Uh, you know, it's it, it's not a spectacular video. You know, the days that I don't catch one like that, but but that's why I keep coming out because it, the opportunity, the chance to catch something like that, uh, it's just I love it. You know, and you guys know that I love chasing big fish, and every ch every opportunity I get I get to do it, I do it uh, regardless of the situation or conditions at the time. So. But I'm glad we were able to pull it off today. It was a complete surprise because I said I, I've never drugged this before. Uh, but I will tell you that, don't know if it means anything, but where I caught him at or where he bit at, it was a transition from a mud bank uh, to this, this shell rock bottom bank, what do you want to call it? But I know it comes out a pretty good ways because that board is actually probably dragging right on the edge of it where it meets the mud at the very bottom of the uh, channel here. But but all in all, man, it worked out. I'm, I'm super glad that it did. I'm glad to finally, you know, last couple trips have been pretty tough. I'm glad to finally hang a big one, so. But we're getting ready to get up into where the rock comes all the way across, and so I'm not even gonna chance uh, trying to drag drag through there. I don't know if I'll make it or not, but I don't wanna take that chance. And, you know, I uh, did pretty good for today, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lift a gift horse in the mouth, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Always on cue. <laughs> I don't know how many videos in a row or how many videos that's happened, but all right, all right. We'll we'll get one more if he's I don't know how well he's hooked, because like I said, they were short striking earlier like you wouldn't believe and but since this current's picked up, they are they are eating pretty good. But we'll go ahead and get this one in and I'll finish out this video. I don't believe he's a dink, <clears throat> but he is not a 57 pounder. That I promise you. No, oh, come here, buddy. Yeah. Oh yeah, <clears throat> that'll actually, I think my dad was saying he wanted to keep one. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll carry that one home with him. I let plenty of them go today. I'll carry that one home with us. Yeah, he's about, yeah, he's about eight, 10 pounds. That's the size he wanted. <clears throat> Good deal. <clears throat> Well, you guys know I'm a big, I'm a, I'm big on that catch and release stuff, but you know, we also like to eat some of these every now and again. So I think I'm going to keep this one. So let me set him down here on the floor. But either way, uh, I appreciate you guys coming along with this one. Just like always, I, I, I enjoy being able to make these videos good or bad. Uh, and the fact that you guys actually watch them is even better, but with all that being said, I appreciate you watching this one and I'll catch you on the next one.